Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh with me again sir Afif okay we are going to continue our lesson 20 chapter 4 period table which cover electron affinity and also uh, electronegativity so at the end of the lesson the students should be able to define electron affinity and electronegativity and explain the variation in electronegativity of elements across periods 2 and 3 and also down the group. So periodic trends in the electron affinity. But now let's look at the definition of electron affinity. So Ea is the amount of energy need to be released or absorbed when an electron is added to a gaseous atom or ion at meaning the atom except one electron so it is the opposite of ionization energy so the differences between ie ionization energy and ea electron affinity as we learned before in lesson 19 ionization energy is the process of removing one mole of electron so meaning that one mole of electron is removed so we can see that here, okay, as an equation and also electron is removed, meaning that energy is absorbed. So when energy is absorbed, meaning that it is an endothermic reaction. While for Ea, electron is added to the atom. So when electron is added, energy needs to be released. So when energy is released, it is an exothermic reaction. Okay, the higher the Ea, electron affinity, just refer to the numerical values, not the sign, positive or negative. Okay, the more negative the values, more energy is released to add an electron to an atom. So, smaller atoms have higher electron affinities. The smaller the, the, smaller the atom, the closer an added electron can approach the atomic nucleus and the more strongly it is attracted to the nucleus. Meaning that, the smaller the atom, okay, the higher the electron affinity. So, this is the periodic table which shows the trends for electron affinity. So, as you can see, Okay, just refer to the numerical value, not the sign. You can see that across the period. Okay, so it is, we can say that it is uh, increasing. Okay, increasing and going down the group, you can say that it is decreasing. So across a period, okay, in general, electron affinity tends to increase from left to right in the period. So across a period, number of proton increases, which is in the same shell, okay, meaning Z increases, atomic size decreases, okay, the attraction of nucleus towards electron is stronger, the valence electron gets more closer to the nucleus, Ea increases. So what about Ea when going down the group? So in general, the electron affinity tends to decrease down the group. Okay, so down the group, okay, number of proton increases. Okay, the shielding effect is greater. Okay, and atomic size increases, making the attraction of nucleus towards a valence electron is weaker. Thus, Ea decreases. Okay, there are some anomalous case okay, which happens to the group 2, 15 and 18 which involve okay, fully filled and half filled orbital which is same like the previous lesson in ionization energy. As we know, fully filled or half filled orbital uh, which have more stability. So when you have more, when you have more stability meaning that it is difficult to add or, or also remove one mole of electron. So in this case for Ea, Ea is going to be lower. 
So for example, okay, we have okay proton number of twelve for magnesium for SPDF notation. We have one S two, two S two, two P six, and three S two. So orbital diagram for the valence electrons for magnesium three S two. So in this one orbital, we have two electron. So three S orbital is fully filled. Electron is fully filled orbital. Okay, so it is more stable, hard to accept an electron. While for nitrogen here right now, okay, we have one s two, two s two, two p three. So focus to two p three. So it is okay three electrons singly arranged. Okay, so two p orbital is half filled orbital, so making it it is more stable. So it is also hard to accept an electron. Okay. Periodic trends in the electronegativity. So, what is electronegativity? It is the measure of ability of an atom to attract the bonding electron to itself. So, based on the electronegativity scale by Linus Pauling, we have here fluorine F. Okay, is equal to 4.0, while K potassium is equal to 0 0.8. And as we know, we learned uh, in uh, high school. Okay, fluorine is the most electronegative element. In HCl, for example, chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen. The electron pair of the covalent bond, okay, more attracted to the more electronegative atom, which is the chlorine. So this is the example of HCl. So as you can see here, okay. HCl bond is a polar because chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen and so attracts the bonding electrons more strongly towards itself. So as we know, Cl is more electronegative than H. So this is we put here okay, as a delta negative because it is more electronegative and this is delta positive. So meaning the electron cloud okay, will mostly Okay, uh, gather around Cl because of Cl is more electronegative. So according to the Linus Pauling scale, okay, based on periodic table, okay, we can see that electronegativity increases across the period and increases going up the group. Okay, non-metal which consists of usually from group 14 and to group 18 have nearly completely octet octet configuration okay electronegativity is higher because of stronger attraction while for metal usually from group 1 group 2 and group 13 do not have strong attraction so lower electronegativity so variation in electronegativity across period 2 and period 3, we can say that across period 2 and period 3, it is increasing. And also same goes for period 3, it is also increasing. So across the period, okay, when the size of atom decrease, Zf increase. In that nucleus attraction, okay, also increase. So ability to attract the bonding electron to itself is higher, meaning the electronegativity is increased across the period. Going down the group, okay, size of an atom increase, okay, with shielding effect also increase, meaning the nucleus attraction will be weaker or decrease. So ability to attract the bonding electron to itself is lower then electronegativity is decreased. So these are the trends of electronegativity in period table. So across the period, okay, from left to right, okay, electronegativity increases. Going down the group from higher to lower here, electronegativity decreases.